Hello and welcome to another episode of Low Tech Health. Let ourselves translate expert knowledge. Today's Forgive My Foul Mouth Friday and you're getting double bread. Yeah, 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 you boy. Yeah, forgive oh, my shit. foul mouth. See, there it is. Shit, <laughs> fire, save, matches. Today has been a fantastic day and I'll tell you what, it's because people like him. People like him and mm -hmm. people like other people out there, but mostly this guy here because I tell you, helping people and getting them treated and <laughs> cured is not enough. It doesn't give you back that that kind of reward of, of doing good because it can help a lot of times, but most of the time we're just playing the shell game. We're, we're fixing one organ system and another one's gonna have the bean next and it's gonna have an issue. We give you Lasix for your pulmonary edema and sometimes we shut your kidneys down and now you gotta have kidney support. But through all, all of that, knowledge is shared and power is increased by us just talking to each other as humans and not saying because your kidneys failed, you're a worse person or because you don't wipe well or you fart at the nurse's station. It's, it's the kind of stuff that brings you closer together. In fact, one of the patients who was a little like eh, not so with it, starting to come back better and better, I heard one of these nurses fart at the station and you know she perked up she she had been it's weird because it's one of those patients where it's, they're ignoring you their eyes are closed they're very drowsy and almost lethargic to the point of it seems like they're in a coma and you have to sternal rub them and smack them around but they'll wake up to the sound of a fart they'll look and they'll be like hey what was that and there's a certain humanity that's turned on by that humiliating little soup because <laughs> it's not so humiliating it brought us together because you know what she did? She knew it was funny. She looked and said, yep, you're in on the joke now. And the next second, she, Brad flicked me off after I, I called him out. But she saw that as well. And she one-upped us. She goes, you know what those are? It's a whole flock of them. <laughs> ah, and oh, it's, just, it's one of those moments where you think that you imagined it because she's been a little out of it and not the most interactive person, like I said. And then she's pulling jokes that are some like medium to high level timing, pacing, and just ingenuity. I, I, she may have done that move a thousand times, but the way she paused, held our attention, and then gave us the old banger. <laughs> she's, she's getting better, and you can't really tell that by just numbers, by just treatments. You tell that by fun, fun meters. When are we gonna have them? When are we gonna be able to actually look in a patient, a person's eyes and tell if they're having fun or not? Not just that their heart is beating or they're alive, but that they're having a good time. Like you can have paralyzed people who may not be able to move their arms, but you can see in their eyes and eventually I think we'll be able to tell through some sort of fun spectroscopy how much fun they're having and whether or not you as family would, you know, want to live in the same place and be at that level of fun meter because it's not dependent upon how well you move or how much of your organs are functioning correctly. You can have fun as you're going. In fact, that is one of the dangerous things that can happen, FYI. When, if you're a patient, your nurse takes like a tube out of your neck, make sure you're not in the chair, and make sure you're not laughing, because that is the wrong time to make a joke. You can suck in an air embolism and pass, which has happened so much so that we have to tell nurses and tell people, don't make jokes in this moment and for me it's probably the hardest thing to do is to not be funny because it's important to not be funny because I could kill them so on my this forgive my foul mouth Friday I just want to say America, fuck yeah. Thank y'all for listening. I'm all over the place, but I got the weekend off, and I really appreciate you tuning. Remember, trust your people, talk to your people, and try to have fun, because we can't measure it right now. 
and will keep you alive no matter how much or how little fun you're having. So talk to your family, discuss your advanced directives. Reanimación wait. Reanimación anticipado. Ventilador? No ventilador. Don't live in fear, but also quit pretending that it's never going to happen. Love you guys. Bye.